Alrighty, I'm just going to go through a really quick way to get into the Valheim creative menu as, you know, Minecraft has made it. Uh, basically, you're going to go to your Valheim properties through Steam and go to your launch options and put dash console and that's it. As soon as you do that, you go play, you know, lower it up, everything like that and... You're not necessarily going to change anything loading into the game. But once you actually open up a world, that's when you will start to uh, need to do a couple things to make it the creative mode. And you can then run around as a god, run around as a ghost, run around building anything you want without needing any materials. And those all are a couple commands. Then you can spawn pretty much almost anything in the game uh i have had found difficulties trying to figure out what the names were like the elder is not the elder in the spawn menu it is i think dg underscore king so or gd underscore king so that is the great dwarf king um yagleth would be goblin king so i'm just going to load up the world real fast you know, <coughs> my bad. Um, the newest boss is actually Seeker Queen. It is not the the queen. So, and Divergers are spelled with an E-R at the end instead of just an R. And Fullings are just goblins in the menu. So, yeah, as it's loading in, I mean, can't necessarily do a whole lot. But once it, once it does load up, I'll show you what you need to do. So, basically, as soon as it loads up, you know, you press enter, go backslash, D-E-V-C-O-M-M-A-N-D-S, dev commands, press enter, you'll see it goes dev commands true, and then if you have put in the dash console, as soon as you press F5, this should drop down, and then you go D-E-B-U-G, M O D E debug mode and just press enter. You don't have to put any slashes or anything like that. And then blank, you got that. And then while in this menu up here, you can just go God, God mode. You don't take damage. Ghost, you don't take anything, but or nothing can see you. But one of the couple commands is as soon as you're in debug mode, Z, you fly. You know, it's pretty nice. And then you have a couple other commands I'm forgetting right now, but Z is basically flying. One of my favorite things to do is, I know you're flying, but if you're in the swimming animation you press Z, you're now just swimming through the air. I know it's, you know, it's like, oh, well, that's not as important, but I mean, it is important if you're playing with friends, they'll just see you doing this. And then to get out of you, you just press Z, but you know, you can do no cost, and as soon as you do no cost, that means you can just, you know, place down anything you want, as much as, minus a couple other things that you need, you know, like all your crafting upgrades, like these guys, need to be placed by the, um, crafting station, so you just can't drop them, but, you know, yeah, you know, then you can play around with this, yada yada yada, you still need stamina. So, you basically, you want your, and you can spawn them, so you just go spawn, uh, fish, and, and bread, and then the amount is, the number right afterwards is the amount, so blam, I just spawned 10 of them, I now have 10 fish and bread, and then you eat it, you get the stamina. So, even though you are in a god mode, uh, you still will be using stamina whenever you use a hammer. So, if you want to be doing a lot of building, find the best, you know, uh, stamina foods and just rock that. But when it comes to spawning mobs, you can, you know, let's go spawn a goblin. The first number right here, I have spawn goblin one. That's how many there is. You do another space, and this is how many stars you want them to have. So you could do, you know, spawn goblin three. And blam, you have a two-star fooling because the first one doesn't count. It's all 
three and up. But technically, with doing this, also works on gear as well. He can do spawn. What fights fullings? Diverger. One. <laughs> one, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then you spawn a level 100 million Diverger that does however much damage that was. <coughs> Same concept works for your weapons. Like this right here is a level 1000 axe. You can just one shot things with it. And then you can also do that with your pickaxes, your arbalists, your bows and whatnot. But when it comes to melee weapons, that's when they really go through. But this guy right here will be tough to kill. So, yeah. Well, I hope you guys found this helpful and whatnot. And, you know, have a fun time just messing around with Valheim. That's, that's really what this all was for. Have a good one.